从十九世纪的脚底运动鞋、慢跑钉鞋，到法国红底鞋王 l o u b o u t o n 和 Prada 的奢华创作鞋款，纽约布鲁克林博物馆以特展形式介绍运动鞋发展成时尚单品的历史。It's an exhibition that explores、um, this item that is very common to most people. Everyone has a pair of sneakers,、um, but this this show kind of explores its history from the 19th century through today and how it's become this kind of iconic form of footwear that has so many different meanings. 展览柜里有一百五十双陪着学生们长大的各家运动鞋品牌，这里每一双鞋背后的设计都有着不一样的故事。在运动鞋问世的初期，它也代表了一种身份的象征。Rubber was a very expensive material when it first came out, so these first sneakers in the、um, you know, late 19th, early 20th century meant that you were wealthy enough not only to afford the sneakers, but the reason you were wearing them is because you were playing tennis, you were playing croquet, you had leisure time to pursue those kinds of activities. 运动鞋发展到当代，强调机能，也很讲造型。高档时装设计师和时尚名人从来没有放弃投入运动鞋设计的领域。We have、um, sneakers by Christian Louboutin. That's another really interesting fact. High-end women's shoe designers entering the men's sneaker game. So we've got Prada, we've got Louboutin, we've got Jimmy Choo. 展览中也有对运动鞋设计影响深远的运动明星，包括迈克乔丹和美国最伟大运动员之一。黑人民权运动领袖杰西·欧文斯等人的珍贵影像，回顾一百五十年的运动鞋文化。